Hi, my name is Olivia and I invite you to join me on my journey on the Camino Francis. Today, I plan to slow down my pace as I'll only be walking 11 kilometers to Saria. However, the following day, I'll return to my usual longer walks, which may find me walking in the dark. So, I've got 40 minutes left and it is getting dark. Good morning. I woke up at 7 as I do every day because I need to put my luggage outside. And I've decided to have breakfast here at the hotel, although hotels breakfast to be six euros and because I'm not staying at the fanciest place I don't think the quality matches the price I think it's actually a better deal if you just go to a cafe and get a coffee and a pastry or tortilla or something like that that being said my hotel is pretty far away from the cafes and it is very cold and very dark and I would pretty much like to come back to my room after breakfast which is why I decided to have it downstairs and also, I like to plan the day a little bit um, during my breakfast. So that's the plan. I've gone back to my room and decided to take a short nap, which I couldn't really take because I had a coffee and breakfast. But the second I decided to relax a little bit, it's like I started to feel all the tiredness from the previous days and as like my body just gave up I'm feeling absolutely exhausted when I had to wake up and keep going and get dressed at a specific time and just leave as soon as possible I guess my body adapted and thought this is what we're doing we're in survival <laughs> but wow maybe when I get outside of the hotel and I get hit with the bad weather and the rain <laughs> I might wake up so the plan is to go and see the monastery in Samos and then go to Saria and take it easy for the day because the next few days I got long walks coming. So yeah, that's the plan. And I'm really hoping for the rain to stop because walking in the rain yet another day does not sound like a good idea. I'm now walking to the monastery. It's 11 minutes away from my hotel, then I will come back this way and walk towards Sevilla. It's still raining a little bit, but it's not too bad. And I'm still feeling so tired. This uh, continuous rain that's been going on for many days in a row probably doesn't help. It's like, oh, you're too tired, don't do this, just stop somewhere, take a bus. You can just not visit the monastery, that's fine. You don't feel like it, you know? And it's so easy to fall into the trap. You're like, oh, I'm not feeling like it, so I'm not gonna do it. But a new Camino resolution for me <laughs> is to not give in to that voice anymore, not choose comfort and choose what I truly want to do. And that's why I'm gonna ignore that voice. monastery of San Julian de Samos, an active Benedictine monastery, boasts a rich history dating back to its founding in the 6th century. The monastery showcases a harmonious blend of architectural styles including late Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque. 
Famos stands among the three inhabited monasteries in Galicia and proudly holds the distinction of being the Spanish monastery with the longest uninterrupted monastic life, spanning over 1500 years. Within its sacred walls, the monastery boasts beautiful murals depicting scenes from monastic life, history and spirituality. Notably, among them you'll find real-life Spanish figures who generously donated to the monastery. I visited the monastery. I was the only one on the tour. <laughs> it was like having my own private guide. People are probably in a hurry to walk to Seria and didn't want to wait for the tour. But I'm happy I did. I like history and architecture and listening to the history of the places I'm visiting. <laughs> This is a pretty steep forest hike, but I'm so grateful that it's not raining that it doesn't even matter. Like with all the crazy rain we had the past few days, no hike scares me if it's not raining. And I might be speaking too soon because the clouds are not looking great. Ooh, and there's a view coming. But yeah, so far it's good. I literally moved. I was, I was right there, I walked for a minute, and now it's raining. <laughs> Honestly, life's really funny sometimes. Anyway, the views are nice. And I seem to be the only pilgrim because I stayed in Samos until 11.30 and then I went to visit uh, the monastery and I think by now all the pilgrims are already in Saria. <laughs> I got one hour and 50 minutes left now to Saria. Oh my goodness, today's been an emotional roller coaster for me. I wasn't feeling great mentally when I started, and now I'm trying to get myself in a better mood and a better mindset, let's say, but it's fluctuating a lot. For a second, I'm like, okay, everything's fine, everything's gonna be fine. And then the next thing I know, I'm like, nothing's fine. And yeah, not. Not the best of days for me. Could be the bad weather because I know it has a strong influence on my mood. It could be just my thoughts going around in a negative loop. But yeah, I've had better days. And this has nothing to do with the Camino, it's just my general state. Like, uh, my thoughts are related to my, my life in general. <laughs> At this point, the Camino itself is pretty, feels pretty easy. Yesterday I've done 34 kilometers and Except for the rain and my clothes being wet, I can't say that I was struggling too much. I got used to it and I got used to waking up at the same time every day, doing the walk. It's much easier now and I only have a few days left. And I'm really happy with the Camino and everything. It's just that today my thoughts are all over the place and they're going into a negative direction, which is normal and it's fine. This is just to explain that my mood is not as cheerful as other times is but anyway the only thing to do at the moment is to keep walking so that's what i'm doing so far 
there aren't any stops from San Cesaria. It's mainly walking through the forest, which is nice. It's a pleasant walk. I still got one hour and 40 minutes left because this trail takes a detour from the main road. And I can't say I'm too happy about that. I don't feel like walking today. I already started the day not feeling like doing anything, but one hour and 40 minutes is not that long, so it's gonna be fine. I'm almost in Soria now. So I think I'll stop in the city center. I'll have something to eat. That will be lunch and dinner as well. Then I'll head to my accommodation, which is open until 11 for check-in. This is a hostel, it's not an old party case. It's one of those more modern hostels with a reception. Oh my goodness. These two have uh, kind of escaped. Oh, look at them! That's a great welcome! That does not look great. Change of plans. I found a bakery that does empanadas, which I absolutely love. So I'm going there and then going to my accommodation. It was close. I'm now going to my accommodation to check in. It started raining and then I'll figure it out. <laughs> nice. I just had my dinner, which was avocado toast and pancakes. <laughs> Pretty unusual. And now I just got back to my hostel. I'm feeling much better now that I have some food. And tomorrow I got 29 kilometers to walk to Castro Mayor. I'm now finally ready for bed. I think I'm catching a cold. I feel it at the moment, which is not ideal. Oh my god three days left i'm really hoping i'll be all right tomorrow yeah i'm feeling a bit better than earlier but overall it wasn't the best day not that anything happened it's just that i was feeling a bit under the weather and i think my mental state today is actually linked to the potential cold i'm catching like these things are always hand in hand I'm now going to relax a little bit and go to bed. I got this private <laughs> bed situation, which is more comfortable than the normal albergues. And I'll see you tomorrow. morning i'm now back on the trail my accommodation was a bit off the trail the weather is really nice now i haven't seen weather like this in a long time so that's a good start hopefully it's gonna stay this way and today i got a private accommodation somewhere which looks to be kind of in the middle of nowhere they told me that the closest place where you can buy food is one kilometer away from the accommodation so it's probably somewhere between towns. I am feeling like I'm catching a cold. I'm much better mentally than I was yesterday, but physically not so much, but it's fine. Hopefully it's not gonna get worse. So let's get walking. Thank you. 
beautiful. There are many people around. They don't seem like pilgrims. This weather is everything. It's just so beautiful. I clearly didn't appreciate the good weather enough in the beginning of the trip. <laughs> Hundred and ten kilometers to go. <laughs> Look how many people there are in front of me. It's most likely people just doing the last hundred kilometers, which makes me feel different. Today reminds me a lot of the first day in the Pyrenees. The views are similar, the green grass, the sun, the animals, just everything. It's really nice. I wanted to stop at the first cafe to take a little break charge my phone, things like that, and there were so many people, <laughs> there was no seat available. They're supposed to be at a restaurant in seven minutes from here, so that's where I'm heading. This is yet another one of those moments when I wanted to stop at a cafe and there were so many people and then I walked for seven more minutes. <laughs> Look at that! So I just had a coffee, I'm considering a second one, I'm waiting for my phone to charge as well. I'm really loving this place but I still have a very long walk ahead of me and I'm already getting tired which is a bit scary. Uh, but yeah, lovely place, lovely day, happy I'm here. And I can't believe this is going to end in three days. It is now raining and I got around 45 minutes to Porto Marina and that's where today's stage ends for most people and then I got two more hours to Castro Mayor where my accommodation is. This is Porto Marín in the rain. I just saw what awaits for me at the end of the bridge. And here we go. These are some very intimidating stairs, to be honest. I'm in Porto Marín and I'm gonna look for a place to have lunch or dinner, whatever you want to call it, because it's in between. And then I'm going to walk all the way to my accommodation, as I think I mentioned before. My accommodation doesn't have any food and there's nothing close to it. It's kind of in between towns. So this is going to be my meal for the day. And then I'll keep walking. 
So, there you guys, all the pilgrims are arriving at this time. Everything's full. And I still got one hour and 15 minutes to the next town. Okay, this will be my third attempt. <laughs> Weather looks so bad now. I think I'm going someplace else for a coffee because I didn't have soya milk. So maybe they do someplace else and then I have an excuse to wait for the rain to stop. If it's going to stop. So let's go. <laughs> hmm, I think that's the coffee shop. To the supermarket got a salad just in case I want something this evening because I didn't actually get to have a proper meal I only had a slice of pie and some cheesecake so I got that and now I'm going straight to my accommodation which is in Castro Mayor well I now got a dog apparently he goes ahead and then he waits for me So there are two routes from here and someone just stopped the car and advised me to take the other route, not the one that I wanted with this weather. So I'm gonna listen to that. I'm actually really enjoying these walks after everyone stops and I got all the places to myself. All the pilgrims stop around 4, 5 p.m. Yes, you can still occasionally see one two people but usually it's just like this it's just me and i think this is something worth experiencing just having the camino to yourself after everyone stops walking it just gives me a sense of freedom i feel so free and comfortable when i'm just alone like this in nature uh, which is something i haven't experienced too much before because i never went hiking alone and it's definitely something that's going to change after the camino because it's amazing and i love it Like my videos are becoming progressively creepy <laughs> but I'm still walking and it's getting a little dark and I'm alone in the forest but I don't really mind it <laughs> it's fine uh, I'm just realizing that the videos are probably gonna look very creepy <laughs> it's less than an hour now to where I'm going not sure exactly how long but yeah should be there somewhat soon <laughs> I hope So I've got 40 minutes left and it is getting dark. Okay, I got seven more minutes. I need to go there where it's completely dark. But yeah, seven minutes is not too bad. I'm finally in my room. Not only that it was really dark, but this huge dog started barking at me and he was free. I know he was being territorial around his house so he wouldn't really come close to me but still I'm just like okay and I love dogs but it still kind of added to the creepy evening one thing I didn't really consider today 
was the time change. So now it gets darker earlier. I didn't really think about that and <laughs> that's why I ended up walking in the dark. I will hurry up a bit more tomorrow because I don't want this to happen again. It turns out I walked for 33 kilometers today and I thought it was only gonna be 29. I'll definitely need to leave early tomorrow and I will leave early tomorrow because um, this accommodation is in the middle of nowhere and I think the fact that I would want coffee when I wake up would really get me going pretty early. I'm starting to become really nostalgic now. I've been feeling like the Camino's ending for a while now already. It just feels like an end and it's pretty sad. On the other hand, I am pretty tired. In terms of comfort, at some point I feel like it gets to you and you are a little bit looking forward to the end of it, to being in your own bed, to having your own shower and all sorts of basic things like that. I can't believe I've been packing my suitcase every single day and staying in hostels for a month and in a way it passed really quickly and in a different way it's been a very long time I don't even know how to explain that but yeah I'm feeling nostalgic and also kind of happy to get to Santiago and to celebrate my birthday and to have a proper hotel room and to eat a really nice meal. Today is 29th of October, so just a little bit left. Now I'm doing pretty long distances because the plan is to finish by the first and this is the only way I can do it. So right now I'm going to relax for a little bit and go to bed and I will see you tomorrow.